In this video, we're going to look at creating 3D models and 2D construction planes to help us edit our model. We're going to start with a brand new file from scratch. So within this open structure dialog, I'm going to press the new 3D model button. So let's move this over to the screen. And here I'm going to work with a 3D example. I'm going to use the metric default units for input and output. And I won't worry about changing any of the model tolerance or anything like that at this stage. Also make sure I have my desired code selected. So let me just make sure I'm using the Canadian values, even though I could use whatever I want. And click Next. And finally, we're going to create a regular framework for our structure. So this will bring us to the end of the new structure wizard, but we're going to start a new wizard now to create a regular framework. So I click Finished. And the last step is we're going to have another wizard that appears, just like this. And this will help us edit our regular framework. So I'm going to generate folders to help me organize the model. And I'll give those folders a base name, which will be Level. I'm going to have uh, multiple stories. So I'm going to have three stories that are four meters in height. In the X direction, I'm going to have three bays that are nine meters in width. In the Y direction, I'm going to have three bays that are six meters in width. And I can also include beam elements or triangular or quadrilateral elements internally if I'd like to. Then press OK. And S frame opens up with my model. And so it has the dimensions and properties that I've assigned. Now this is great uh, for working with. We have our model already set up, so I can go ahead and look at the grids that might work. As we saw before, we can define our own grids if we'd like to. I can also set up grids on a 2D plane as well. As you may have seen in previous videos, in order to do that, we need to create a new user coordinate system. So I'm going to right click on or left click on the user coordinate system tool, use the three point method and draw my user coordinate system in such a way that the XY plane of that UCS is in plane with my vertical wall. So I'm going to start by clicking the origin of my UCS right here, then the direction of the positive X axis, which is right here, and then finally the direction of the positive Y axis, which will be this direction. So I'm defining the plane of this UCS to be in plane with my wall. And I'm going to save this. I'll call this wall UCS and then I can refer back to it later on. I can also work with uh, creating a new grid, which we've done in the past now. Just select this, right click and go new grid set, and I'll just call this wall grid. Press enter to create the grid. Left click on it to open it, and then go auto generate grid set. And it's gonna generate a grid for me based on those uh, dimensions and the joints that it finds within that plane. I'm going to lock this grid and press OK. Now we've got this 2D construction plane that we can work with. I'm working within this uh, user coordinate system. And so now all my views are going to be with respect to this coordinate system. I'm always going to be looking down on the XY plane if I click on the top view. So if I click on the top view option in the aerial window, it's going to look down on that XY plane. Now we can toggle on the joint numbers, and we can see that because we have a 3D model, there's several layers of joints, and I can't really distinguish which layer is which because they're all superimposed on top of one. However, I can use this 2D toggle option at the bottom of my screen, and if I toggle this on, then it's going to just select the one plane in 2D within that XY plane of my user coordinate system. And the joint numbers are now readable. Now I'm going to turn this option off now. And I can actually move my user coordinate system back and forth within this uh, stack of elevations by using the Translate Grid and UCS Up or Down tools right here at the top of the screen. So I can translate them down, and you notice that the joint numbers are changing. As you look at those joint numbers, we're going through each one of these, and we can see the different grids, uh, or the grid being moved back and forth to each set of joints. 
And this can be very useful if we want to work with a particular plane of our structure, and it may not necessarily be one of the existing planes. The folders are great. If I turn off the 2D option here, the folders are great uh, within this respect as well. So I'm just going to go back to my global system and look at my isometric view and turn off my joint display. And here I can see that the folders are great if I want to isolate specific components of my model that have already been defined for me, but I can also use my 2D mode system here and actually look at the results or the, the planes of my model in more detail. So if I want to switch to the wall UCS, I can then see the various UCSs that are associated with my model. And I could work on that one particular plane in more detail.